Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once more in the season that we named of 2017. I want to guarantee you that you will come out Whatever that the enemy has that is yours, he only takes a look at it. Because whatever that he took, he will have to be able to do it. Amen. Hey, you've been We've been following up this season and it has been catching fire and it has been catching fire and it has been catching fire and it has been Out. No one can put it out. And except to just give way for it. Last week, which I went there. We are looking at strengthening ourselves in power. And Amani, Ugamba, try to think it is a Wambala Mani, Malala. By saying power, we're not saying any other power. But we're trying to differentiate from other power. Try to think it is a Wambala Mani, Gambo, you want to go to the church that is full of the power of the Holy Spirit is like the first church in the books of Acts. That church that you see is the right example of a church that is full of power. Because it started on the day of Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit came down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make yourselves and go and read that book. Ladies and gentlemen. The church is full of the power of the Holy Spirit. The church is full of the power of the Holy Spirit. When you read Acts chapter 5, and you start from verse 16, you will understand me better. This church was full of wonders. Miracles were performed. Out, he said this. 
go back in the temple where you were arrested and I wish you to be able to do it if they were scared, they would have run away. But where exactly they arrested? Where they arrested? That is where they went. And the same question that made them be arrested. The same question that made them be arrested.
picked it up and the chains fell on his wrist. Get the angel told him, get dressed and put on and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me. The angel ordered. So Peter left the cell following the angel. And what he said, the word, it was a vision. He did the realize it was actually a pending Mogamapas. Mogamapas. We are coming from. Chetuka. We've been talking about strengthening ourselves. What do you want to talk about today? Chetuka. He's following instructions. Amen. This chapter, and I make scripture of this season, recover all, is in 1 Samuel 30. From verse 8. Amen. But the sixth verse says that when David saw that crying would not help him, he strengthened himself. He encouraged himself in the Lord. Amen. We were looking at that point. And so we have left it. We in verse 7 which says. That when David had strengthened himself, he called a priest called Abithai. And he told him to bring the effort. Amen. I want to ask the Lord. And he asked the Lord, Should I follow? If I follow them, will I catch up If I catch up with them, will I recover my things? And the Lord told him, Follow. You will catch up with them. And you will recover everything of yours. You should learn to follow. Brothers and sisters who are listening to me today, learn to follow instruction. This year is a year of instruction. Whatever you are told, you follow. One thing I love in that story I've read to you of Peter. Peter didn't know that we were even praying for him. But when God was answering, Peter Peter who saw the angel. When the Peter came to when the angel came to Peter, he was sleeping. But the Bible teaches that he slapped him on his side, telling him to wake up. The word wake up means when the Lord help me today, then someone who can wake up, then someone who can understand the importance of prayer, then someone who can gather or summer to pray in their house. So that someone can start forcing themselves to pray. And someone can start to struggle and pray. Peter did just look at what they talk about it is in the spiritual realm. It means prayer. What they will speak about in your when they talk about sleeping in the spiritual realm. They say they, they are people here who are sleeping. They are looking at me, but they are sleeping. They totally don't like praying. May God help me so that you can wake up. Amen. When Peter woke up, the chains fell off. The 
changed it for for you need to it properly the angel is not tapping at the chain the angel is tapping at Peter he was telling Peter to wake up the Bible says that when you woke up the chain is
hiyo kama atakani ya kuamba you as you saying that god Satan has made us come. Yeah, what the doors are you? He has captured your mindset. Kumelela. Just follow. Pinda. Wala malaika. Mukomela. When put a soul the angel in prison, baby gaman. The Bible says, "Now, now, now, kola we jagamba." That he did everything that he was told. We jagamba. Whatever that he told him, he did. Yamba asipanga yamba. He told him to put on his sandals. He put on the yamba. Yamba yenga yamba. Put on your clothes. He put on the yamba. Yamba yakoti yenga yamba. Put on your coat. He put on. Ukomele yanga ukomele. Follow me. He followed. La yenga katekera. But he was not understanding. Gamba akuila nyau. You tell your neighbor. What is keeping you captive? He's perceiving that you understand what you don't understand. Just know that Satan captured your mind. Among the things that is, you, you are going to recover, the last things he's going to give it to is your mind. Amen. The understanding of Peter. They got out of the prison until they reached the bathroom. The Bible says that his understanding came back. The malaika nawe. And the angel disappeared. Mm. That might have annoyed him so much. Na yo lugendo. But yo jane. Mukama te aute kate ka kubera tukule mbwa ba malaika. God did design it to be led by angels. Ekiye ta malaika. What brings the angel? Mukama mazwe. Amen. Mukama te teke la imajibi. Amen. It's to help you know that your mind. But when you regain your, your mind, you don't, you don't need that angel. You don't need that angel. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, the Corinthians, the first Corinthians, the Bible says, Amen. 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 Chapter 2, verse 16. The government to our we a mind of Christ it says that we were given a mind of Christ amen you were given a mind of Christ to our we were and we were that ya Christ a person who understands like Christ that's that you need an angel ndiku muza ndakamalika that's a person who understands like Jesus Need an angel, but you were given a mind of a Christ. We were, we were. It was a. It is pure that Malaika mukombe ya kuanga. What is bringing the angel to that? Your mind, Bajiba. Is because the mind was stolen. Gawazu. Amen. The mind, Bajiba. The mind was captured. But when that mind is recovered, na yepo kumia mo inoza zo. Then you ask no rule. That o Malaika tayi taki sa. It's like a piece of many people trying to teach a university student. Do you have a mind of Christ? What do you have a mind of Christ? Oh my dear, take it away, yes. Your mind of someone so clever and you can't put down your mind. It's a mind that helps you to see things the way God sees them. What I see my father do. The ability to see things the way God sees. When you pick a recover that one, that angel disappeared. Amen. 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 Herod looked for Peter, but he could not find him. God has brought back your mind. God is going to look for you, but it won't find you. 
Then the times you prayed and you're not going to be able to do it. But when the leaders begin to be clear, Amen. They open the door. Peter again, the one who is not going to when Peter had people pray, he thought that it's John who is leading the prayers. Oh, James, the brother to Jesus. But when they opened the door, they were only believers. Ordinary believers. That was a big shock. Yeah, there was no leader worth mentioning. The one who put in the say, "Oweding ya." Why don't we say "Oweding ya"? There were only ordinary Christians. In fact, the Bible and 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 other disappointment in Peter. The Bible shows how disappointed Peter was. I don't see my brother so good. That these these were not the people he had come to explain. He only ended only ended up telling them. That help me take this message to James. Amen. Because he expected him to be there. Amen. 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 What makes me more happy is that if they told the ordinary Christians, nothing was not happening. Amen. Amen. Everything was moving on well. Everything was moving on well. You don't need a pastor to lead you in prayer. You don't the best pastor to lead you in prayer, not the pastor. The best person to lead in praise the Holy Spirit. The best person to hold the Spirit. If only this church would understand the importance of the Holy Spirit. If only they would understand that He's the one who leads. Yes, what? They would have wanted Him even more and even asked Him. I love the first church. They knew that they were not helpless. Amen. And so they managed to help. They helped Peter. They helped Peter. Amen. The story of Peter is different from that of Paul. Paul was Paul is in prison. Paul is his mind. But Paul has his mind. He was in prayer. And speak to the person. The always loved directions. Amen. And speak to the person. Chapter 16 begins when Paul is struggling. He doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know where to go. But the Bible says that after struggling for some time, after he got a dream. A man was calling out for him, telling him to come to Macedonia and help him. The following day, he just packed and he went to Macedonia to help him. When he arrived at Macedonia, he saw a girl who was prophesying. 
She was a captive by she uh, was possessed. A demon. She was possessed by a demon. Na, na rudiungo mo ni ukawa. Amen. So we rebuked the demon and she became okay. Ati ya kaini ya kasao. Amen. Nda kule ya mwese. Amen. Ya kasao na hapunge chuka. The one who is the master of the of that girl got a crowd of people. And they captured Paul and Silas. Amen. They unclothed them. And killed them. And they threw them into prison. All the believers were Before this, Paul had been here for some time and had preached the gospel. Amen. This, this incident occurs at the end. Many of those who had believed when they saw that. Those who had not yet gone deep just and Paul in prison the Bible says that at around 12 he started to pray the wounds he's, even with the wounds he started to pray after praying he would pray it was not long before and when the chains broke and fell off, there is no angel here because the mind is going to come to church. Amen. The Bible says that the angels are going to come. If your mind is not captured, no one can capture you. Even if you've been captured, you can be able to And even the people who are not able to do it, you can be able to do it. Amen. The chains fell off. Not only for Paul and Silas. Even, even for all the other prisoners, the gates were open. But Paul was not like Peter. Has a, he has a recovered mind. Paul was here, 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 in the prison. He refused to get out of the prison. Who would refuse to get out? Paul refused. Amen. They asked him what I'm waiting for. And he said that I'm waiting for the jailer to wake up. You want him to open for you, yet the doors are open. He said that they are something that happens. Don't just get out of the prison. You get out of the prison as you have entered. When they have come, when they have arrested you, when you, they take you to prison. They tell you to remove your belt. You remove the belt. It has said that they they record it. They get your shoes. Remove it. Put it aside and it's recorded. And they tell you that you have a phone. You get it aside and put it aside and That's how they get out of prison. Your mind was captured. <laughs> You will leave your things behind in the season. This season. But we that recover all.